Welcome to the VTech Academy. The VTech Academy. You're about to get it. We made the car level, made the engine level, and just kind of lowered the car over top and just kind of moved everything around. And figured out that we could probably get it in a position where the header would come over top of the rear subframe like it does in the 2012 Civic or the 06 Civic or the RSX. The next thing we had to do was look at ground clearance. That engine bay, again, it's really tall, so we just kept moving the engine up until we thought it was in a good spot. Once we got it in good position, it looked like we were going to use some sort of a modification of the 06 Civic mounts in order to get this engine in the car. So that made the next step quite a bit easier. I started off by just taking some FD brackets, which I modified slightly, to hang the motor in the car. So I basically bolted the mounts to the car, bolted these to the mounts, and then used that to hang it from the frame rail inside the car. And that allowed me to kind of move it around and try to figure out, you know, where the ideal placement was, also to check out, you know, inter interference with anything. Shifted the motor back quite a bit and uh, noticed that the ABS was in the way. I uh, made an adjustment by changing the mount that was in here and hung it. Once I did that, I was able to take the ferro arm, it's a device we use for measuring, and I measured where all the motor mount holes were. On top of that, I measured where all the bolt holes were on the frame. So from that information, I was able to design the mounts. And the first set of mounts were kind of blocky, but uh, the blockiness actually uh, works well because with that, I can measure off hard edges. I made a second set of mounts and, and bolted it in and uh, decided I was going to change this mount on this side but essentially I had all the bolt holes you know in the right place and then I went ahead and designed the final mounts. The final mounts look like this. This is the passenger side mount. It bolts onto the frame rail. The essentially the only difference between this and the real one is there'll be a brace that comes forward and that'll just kind of help it be rigid when it's bolted down. The other one is the driver's side. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and try these in the car and, and see how everything lines up. We had to change the passenger side mount. Initially, this is the one that comes in our 2006 Civic kit. It's kind of wide. When I use this, it actually mounted the bracket too far back and interfered with the ABS inside the engine bay. So in order to get around that, I took one of these mounts and basically uh, moved some hole, holes around and made a thinner version of it. This mount will look quite a bit different. In fact, we've already rapid prototyped what the new mount's gonna look like. I needed something to try in the car, so I just basically quickly machined down one of the mounts. The rear mount is totally different. I had made a rear mount already for BC's the Turbo CRZ. He said he had quite a bit of problem with engine movement, so I made a rear mount for his car, but I wanted to use that rear mount that we already make for the CRZ. So I came up with this bracket that'll bolt to the block and transmission and then the mount mounts from here back to the subframe. And that's basically the stock style mount with the K-Series engine. We found these torque mounts that are on the bottom of the motor work really, really well. They're really effective for controlling engine movement. And uh, they don't really transfer vibration at all. So that's what the rear bracket turned out to look like. The next step in this is to actually put the motor in the car. Once we have the motor in the car, I'm going to look and make sure that all the decisions I made on, you know, mounts and design and everything are correct. Make sure I'm not interfering with anything, rubbing on anything. Make sure the axle alignment is as good as I think it is. So the next thing we do is going to bolt the motor in the car. Then we're going to start fitting it for axles. We're going to fit it for a header. 
get the radiator in there, start looking at all the other connections, including the wiring, radiator hoses, uh, the booster, brake booster, things like that, uh, fuel lines.